Stan Jabalisco here with a couple of pieces of wire. 22 gauge AWG, 22 gauge wire. Insulated stranded wire. Note that about two and a half centimeters or one inch of the insulation has been stripped off of the end of each wire. And I'm going to show you now how to make a Western Union splice. I guess it's named that because the Western Union Telegraph Company probably was the first to invent it, You first to use it, anyway. Cross the two wires over about like that. Then pinch them down, hold them in place, maybe, maybe, uh, oh, about one-third of the way from the insulation to the end, one-third of the way from the insulation to the end, of either wire so that you get something that looks like that. Kind of a trick to hold these things in place like that. And then take one of the wires and twist it over the other one in a tight coil extending for that one-third of the exposed portion between the crossover and the insulation of the one wire like that. And then do the same with the other wire going in the sense so that the splice wants to wrap itself tighter. There's two directions or senses you can go around. You want to go around in the same sense so that the twists conspire to tighten the splice. Otherwise you're just going to end up untwisting the other side of the splice. Then you'll get about probably on the order of um, two-thirds of an inch or how much is that? About 1.8 centimeters, something like that, of wire like this. Now you should always solder a connection like this when you're finished if you possibly can. A Western Union splice works best with wires that are the same size. If one of them is a little different than the other, you might get away with it, but if one of them is a whole lot bigger or smaller around than the other, you're probably not going to have a very good time trying to make a splice like this. But <clears throat> This is stronger than a twist splice in terms of trying to pull it apart, but it's best of all if you solder it and then you can see that it's quite easy to wrap with insulating tape after you have made the splice and soldered the splice because it's all in a straight line. That is the Western Union splice. Till next time, Stan Jibalisco signing off. So long.